Good Friday afternoon, everybody. I hope all of you are doing well as we come to the end of another week. Today, I have just a few items to update you on. The first one is meals. Meals are going extremely well. A wide variety of food is going out uh, to our families. And uh, beginning next week, though, we're going to make one adjustment. Beginning on Monday, meal pickup times will be from 9.30 to 11 o'clock. Again, meal pickup times will be from 9.30 to 11 o'clock. We're shaving one hour off of the meal pickup times, and that has to do with the temperatures. We fully believe and expect that the temperatures will continue to go up. Now, we've had some really nice cold days, which makes it nice, but we want to make sure that we protect your meals, and the longer that we have them out of the cooler, it's a, it's a bad situation. So please know that meal pickups are going to begin, continue to be at 9.30 and will end at 11 o'clock. So uh, please pass that word on to others out there. The next uh, item for our update is this. Online learning has, uh, our distance learning has been going on since we, um, this all began back in March, but this week we really ratcheted it up and here is some great information. And we went from about 480 active classroom users on April 12th to 933 active classroom users on April 21st. So in uh, just two short weeks, uh, that number has doubled. We have had 520 meet meetings, videos. Uh, that is up 5,100% in that same time period. The next one is on January 1st, we had two active Google Classrooms, which now sits at 169 active classrooms. And on April uh, 21st, in a single day, our Mason teachers engaged in Google Classroom environment by making 331 active posts. On any given day, we have about 102 people. Uh, we had about 102 people actively checking their email and it has gone to 369. Now, what that brings me to is this, parents, to our students, please daily check your email, kids. Uh, we've made, we've shot videos on our website for you to see on how to check your email, and we want to see that number climb to a thousand. And so we're seeing that active email, those emails checked on a daily basis. Uh, that is our primary mode of communication. The other one is. Uh, Talk to your neighbors. See who's not on Facebook uh, so you can follow us on Facebook and, and also if they're checking their email. And parents, this one goes out to our kids. Kids, when you're in your team meeting and your Google Meet or if you're into your uh, Microsoft Teams meeting and you see some of your friends not there, please reach out to them. I know that many of you have um, cell phones. You have their contact information, uh, so please reach out to them. If you see kids not in these meetings, um, and this goes to my students, please help out and get those kids on uh, onto the system and find out where they're at because we want everybody engaged in learning. So that one really brings was my last piece of announcement there. Um, take care of each other. Uh, you know, we always heard about call Sam, right, That the attorney. And so the latest in his commercials was, you know, reach out and call somebody. So please take this time right here this weekend and reach out and check in on each other. Check in on your friends. And I know we're practicing social distancing still. And uh, But take that time, send a text, make a phone call. Kids, uh, check in on your friends right there and, and ask some questions about are they getting into the meetings? Are they doing their homework and being a part of everything that's going on? And if they're not, find out why so we can tear down those barriers. Everyone continue to be safe out there. And if, as always, if you need anything, email your teachers, email your, your principals, or email myself. Take care and have a safe weekend.